one palette, two looks, coming up next. Hey there and welcome to Real Chicks TV. I'm your Real Chick, Carla. Thanks so much for joining me today because it always makes my day that much more special when you come along and keep me company. And I'm super excited to have you here today. And I'm super excited to be doing this video because we are talking about the much coveted Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. And I'm thrilled to be doing this in collaboration with one of my favorite people here on YouTube, Jen from Jennifer Joyce Beauty. If you're not subscribed to her, please, after this video, make sure that you go over, check out her tutorials and check out her channel. She is one awesome lady. I like to think of her as a real chick because she is raw, real, no BS, straight shooter, and she's a makeup artist as well as a fitness enthusiast. She's a fitness instructor. That girl is in great shape, and she does some fabulous makeup looks and terrific reviews. She's got some mad skills, so I can't wait to see the look that she's created. We're each doing an evening look and a daytime look, so it'll be two looks from me and two looks from her, and I know with her wicked mad makeup skills, she's going to create something beautiful for you, so be sure after this video that you go check her out. If you have come over from Jen's channel. Hey, I'm so glad that you're here. Very nice to meet you. I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and stick around and be part of the Chickadee family and also that you will hit that little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So we are going to start with the daytime look and then transition over to the evening look with this beautiful palette. Coral is the hot color this year, the hot color of the season, and I have been dying to create a coral look. So I am going to be using these shades here, this one here, here, and here to create a coral and peach look for you that I hope you'll like. I'm first going to start out with an e.l.f. C brush, and I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Estate. Loading up my brush. There is some powder kickback on this palette, so you're going to want to tap it off. And I'm going to place that all over the lid, all the way up to the crease line. And for me, because I have hooded eyes, I'm actually going to take it up beyond where my actual crease is and take it up to where I wish that my crease was placed. These matte shades are actually pressed pigments in much of the pan, and they are absolutely beautiful. And they do have some powder kick up in the pan itself, but as long as you tap off your brush, you're not going to get a whole lot of fallout. I have a little bit because I didn't tap off my brush properly. But I am just placing this shade of state all over my lid, all the way up, pulling it up, 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 because we want to raise the, the look of that eye, lifting the look of that eye, especially as we get older and if we have hooded eyes or droopy eyes like I do. So just a good foundation of that shade estate all over the lid. Now going into this beautiful peachy coral shade. This is called Coastline. I'm taking an e.l.f. crease brush. I absolutely really like e.l.f. brushes. Again, a little bit of the powder kick up, tap off that brush. I really like e.l.f. brushes. They're inexpensive, anywhere from $1 to $8, and they work really well for me. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm not doing windshield wiper motions. I am sweeping this across and building up as I go because I want a certain amount of placement and I don't want the shades to get muddy or too convoluted. I want there to be a nice seamless blend. Make sure you get the bottom outer part. About the outer third is what I'm doing. So I've basically made a reverse 7 or a backwards L. Just sweeping this across wherever your crease line is, or in my case, where I wish my crease line was. Another beautiful corally shade that has more pink in it is Monte Carlo. That's this shade right here. I'm using another e.l.f. crease brush, taking it in. You don't have to load up the brush too much because these are very pigmented. There's a lot of color payoff, so make sure that you do indeed tap off your brush. Now, where I have placed that transition color, I am going to go in a little bit right on top of it, but I'm not going to cover it. You see how I have it a little bit lower than the absolute top line of that? So it is blending in on the bottom part. 
and then I'm pulling it in on that outer third and just blending these together. Now I am going to take circular motions and just blend, blend, blend so that there is a nice seamless gradient there with no harsh lines. Not windshield wiper motions, I'm taking circular motions. And I am just packing this on and going in circles until I get the amount of color that I want. A little bit of fallout again there. That is my fault. That is user error because I did not properly tap off my brush. So let that be a lesson to you. With this or any very pigmented palette for that matter. Just keep going in those circular motions until you get that nice and blended. Alright, I'm happy with the way that's blended out, but it did blend out a lot. So I'm going to go back into Coastline with this C brush and just a little bit up here on the top so that we have a nice gradient and it's not all just one big shade. Just along where I started the transition color, right at the very, very top. And I'm also going to go back in with a state and just pack a little bit more on the lid. And one more time with that crease brush, just blending it out. Now because it's handy, I'm actually going to take the brush that came in the palette and I'm going to go into this white shade here. All of the shades on the top are metallic except for the white shade. That is a matte white, which I love. It's beautiful. And all of the shades on the bottom are also matte. So I'm going to go in with this short stubby side and I am going to come up here and right under my brow. I'm going to highlight my brow and I am going to use this for the inner corner highlight. Now to define the eye just a little bit more, I'm going to go into this very dark chocolate brown here. This is called Palm. And just a little bit on this angled brush from e.l.f. This is an angled definer brush. Tap that off. And I am not going to line the whole lid. I'm just going to line this outer third very, very, as low as I can get it, as close to the lash line as I can get it not winging it out, just adding a little bit of dimension, and then I'm going to use this as my eyeliner as well. And I am taking it all the way in to meet up with that white shade sails. And then connecting it here on the very corner. For the lower waterline, I am using this Rimmel Scandalized Cull Pencil in Nude. I really like this because it plays along so nicely with the color scheme that we have going on, but it also really works well to open up and brighten up small hooded eyes like mine. And if you already are blessed with big eyes, it's just going to make them pop that much more. And it really works well with this color combo that we have going on. So this is a Nude Pencil, the Cull Pencil from Scandalize from Rimmel. Just popping this along the waterline on the bottom. And of course, no sooner did I sharpen this pencil, did I break it. Of course, that's why it's called Real Chicks TV and not Perfect Chicks TV. And I'm going to finish this off with my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Voluminous in Black. I also use the waterproof version in this. Just popping on some mascara. No lashes because this is our daytime look. Now, if you have long lashes, which I do not, you would want to curl your lashes before you do this. I don't curl my lashes because my lashes are actually so short that they don't even fit into a lash curler. So I have no need to curl my lashes because all it does is pinch my skin and there's nothing there to curl. But I always like to mention that you would do that before you add your mascara for those of you who are blessed with lashes. And this is our finished daytime look using the corals and pinks from the Riviera palette. Okay, tutorial number two coming up, but first I have to say that in between takes, Big Daddy surprised me with some daffodils from our yard and 
They smell so nice. I'm so happy that they are here and they are so springy and lovely, so I hope you enjoy them. I am going to set them to the side. This time we are creating an evening look, something more dramatic, and we're going to start by going back into the Riviera palette with this beautiful mustard shade. This is in Cabana, and I'm actually going to use a crease brush to use this, but I'm going to put it all over the lid and take it into my crease. Again, there is some powder kick up with these matte shades, so you're going to tap that off, and I'm going all over the lid using the crease brush and I'm taking it all the way up to my crease or in my case because I have hooded eyes where I wish my crease was. So all over the lid and all the way up to the crease including in the outer corner of the eye. And as you reach the outer corner of the eye pull it up, up, up. And now in circular motions that you've got it placed down, just kind of wiggle it around so that it's all blended out. These mattes do blend quite nicely. Using an LC brush, just like I used in the daytime look, I'm going in with this beautiful True Gold, and this is called Inheritance. What a great name for a gold shade, right? So we are going to pack that on. There's not a lot of fallout with these shimmer shadows. They're almost foiled, but I am going to tap it off just to be on the safe side. And I'm taking that all over the lid from one side to the other, a little bit up into the crease area, but I'm not covering that mustard shade, that cabana shade. And I'm also taking this into the inner tear duct area. Going into the chocolate brown shade of Palm using a crease brush. I'm just going to tap the edge here, just tap the very top of the brush, tap that off, and now right along the top, but still allowing some of that cabana to show through, I'm just sweeping across. I'm not going in windshield wiper motions because I find with my 51 year old eyes and eyelids that windshield wiper motions just tends to make things muddy. I don't want that. I don't think you want that either. Because our skin is looser as we get older, so I find I get a better effect if I just go in a sweeping motion. Now I'm coming into that outer third, pulling it up, and just like we did with the first look, we're doing a reverse seven or a backwards L. Taking this palm shade into the outer third of the eye and in circular motions, I'm wiggling it in there because I want to make sure that I really get good coverage. Because this palm shade, because it is a pressed pigment, tends to get a little bit patchy and it can get muddy if you're not careful. Just back and forth, sweeping it across and into that outer third. Circular motions to blend it out really well. And I'm pulling it up toward the tail of my eyebrow as I go. But I'm also not pulling it so far that I completely hide that mustard. And I do see that some of that cabana has been hidden a little bit, so to blend it out, I'm going back in with this cabana and I'm going to the top and I'm going to sweep just a little bit. There we go. Because I want that peeking through. Now I'm going to do something that I wouldn't normally do because one of my biggest pet peeves with YouTubers who do tutorials is they say they're doing a tutorial on a particular palette and then they'll use like two shades out of that palette, then pull out three other palettes and 16 separate single shadows. That is not a tutorial on a palette. That's using select shades from a palette, but it's not a true palette tutorial. So because I want to use a true palette tutorial, I'm using as many shades as I can from this palette. But the one thing that's missing is a black. And to complete this the way I want to, I am going to go into my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette now, it's not necessary that you use this particular one. This just happens to have a very nice 
matte black. And the reason that I feel okay doing this is because I think everybody has a matte black or some sort of black in their collection. Doesn't have to be the Kat Von D. So I feel okay cheating a little bit on this one simply because I think everybody has access to a black. So I'm gonna take that black, I'm taking this angled precision brush and I'm just intensifying that outer V. Now I'm gonna go back into the Riviera palette, tapping into palm with my crease brush one more time and I'm gonna go over the black just a little bit on that corner, just to soften it up, just a tad, and to make sure everything's blended. using circular motions. And I'm also using a combination of palm and that matte black on this same precision brush to go under the eye. And I am linking that up with the gold that we put in the inner corner. And then just connect your outer edge. Don't want any gaps. Just connect that outer edge. Using the brush that came in the palette, I'm gonna use the short stubby end and I'm going in with this white shade, Sails. And I'm coming up under my brow, using that as the brow highlight. And I'm also taking the tip of it into the inner corner to just lighten up that tear duct area just a little bit mix it in with that gold so that we have just a nice pop of highlight right there. There you go. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I want nice sharp edges. I'm using a dollar concealer to clean up the edges. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Comes with a brush. So I'm going to squeeze it, get some product out, and I'm going to come to where there might have been a little bit of fallout and then I'm going to just take it right here at the edge, pull it straight up, straight up toward my temple so that we clean that area up. And I'm using a Bare Minerals Concealer Brush and then I'm just going to clean that area up around the eye and under the eye. Because with this, it's a dramatic look and I want a nice, crisp, sharp line. And this is one way to get it without using tape. Using my trusty L'Oreal Lash Paradise again. And all of the products that I've used will be listed in the description box below, including my cheeks, my foundation. You'll never guess the foundation and everything that's on my face, as well as the lip products. But I'm gonna show you the lip look that we're gonna go for in just a second, because I am going to use some lashes this time, but not full-on lashes. Going to use the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. These are accents, they are just on the outer part of the eyelid. They're not full lashes and they're not strip lashes, they're magnetic lashes. So we're gonna add these for a little bit of extra drama, but without the complication of full strip lashes. I'm just ripping open the box, I swear. Sometimes they make these things to the point where you have to be a rocket scientist to get into them. I do like the fact that Ardell does label these. You've got your upper lash and your lower lash. And when you're applying false lashes, you wanna hold the card out like I'm holding it facing towards you. This lash here will correspond with this eye and this lash here will correspond with this eye. If you hold it this way, you're gonna have it backwards. When you're using magnetic lashes especially, you wanna make sure that you've got mascara on first so that it gives it something to stick to. Otherwise, these little boogers are gonna slide right off. And then after they're in place, I always push them up because that 
lifts that eye again, kind of gives us a bit of a facelift look, if you will. Especially as we're aging, we want to make sure that things go up, not down. And for the lips, this time I am going to use a nude because we have a very dramatic eye going on here. We've got color on our cheeks, so I'm going for a nude because anytime that you have a lot of color or a lot of drama in one area, you want to balance it out. So if you're heavy on the eyes, we're going to go lighter on the lips. If you're bolder on the lips, you want to go lighter on the eyes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go lighter on the lips because we are heavier on the eyes. I am using this beautiful plumping matte lipstick that is also very hydrating from City Lips. This is in Pink Nude. I'm loving me some City Lips right now. Everything that I use will be in the uh, description box down below. And I also have a discount code for you too. You'll save some money if you follow that link in the description box and use the discount code RealChicksTV for your City Lips. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I will tell you that I use City Lips for the other look as well. I use the matte in Peachy Keen for that one. Letting this dry. And now I'm going to top it with this classic City Lips gloss. This really is the plumping gloss that is taking everybody by storm because it works. In fact, I have a full review and demo that I did on this that I'll link in the description box below so you can check that out. And I'm putting that all over. Oh yeah, since we're going for a dramatic evening look, that gloss really does add it. Straighten out these bangs a little bit. And there you go. Here is our evening look using the Riviera palette. So what did you think? Which look was your favorite? The coral daytime look or this kind of busy bee look that I've got going on for the dramatic evening look? Tell me in the comments section below. I want to know what your favorite look was. And also if there is anything else you'd like to see from the palette. If you'd like to see another look, tell me in the comment section below. If there are any particular colors you'd like to see me play with that maybe you have the palette, you're not sure how to use them, I'll be glad to create something for you. Now after this video, be sure to go over and check out Jen from Jennifer Joyce Beauty. I want to thank her so much. She is just such an awesome lady. Thank you, Jen, for collabing with me. This was a wonderful idea on your part, and I thank you for trusting a novice like me who is not a makeup artist to collab with you. Love you, girl. And I love you for watching today. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Love to have you here. I upload twice a week, at least I try to. My name is Carla, I'm with Real Chicks TV. I thank you so much for joining me today because it makes my day that much more special when you keep me company and when you're a part of it. Until next time, keep your head, heels, and standards high. Love you. bye-bye.